The CHRISTINE trial was a study of preoperative chemotherapy where one arm got a more conventional dosing with chemo and trastuzumab and pertuzumab. The chemo was docetaxel and carboplatin, so a TCHP regimen. And the experimental arm was TDM1, the antibody drug conjugate, with pertuzumab. What we saw with the primary endpoint being PCR was that actually keeping the chemo in, the TCHP uh, arm, was better in terms of pathologic complete response at the time of surgery with respect to the number of patients who were able to have breast conserving surgery versus a mastectomy. So interesting. Uh, there was a major difference, however, favoring the TDM1 pertuzumab arm uh, in terms of toxicity. I mean, hugely different, as you can imagine, if you omit classical chemotherapy. So we do need to explore this further. The pathologic complete response was about 25% in the group that got TDM1 and pertuzumab without chemo. How do we pick out that 25% of patients who had complete elimination of their disease at the time of surgery without needing classic chemo? And how do we pick out the 75% who might benefit from more chemotherapy? Maybe it's that we give TDM1 up front and then we make decisions about adding chemo or not after surgery. I'm not sure about the value of adding pertuzumab to TDM1. We've seen in the Marianne trial in the metastatic setting that pertuzumab added to TDM1 didn't really improve outcomes. And also, if you look at the German ADAPT pre-op trial, um, TDM1 by itself had PCRs in a similar range without pertuzumab being added. So we're excited about TDM1, but we need to select who really will need some chemo added to HER2 therapy and which patients don't.